Ever go through the newspaper and the one thing you took away was not something you read, but an image you saw? Ones like these of a man atop a bridge to a bear falling from a tree or someone simply exuding joy. The three people joining me now have captured more than their fair share of unforgettable images. Mark Garfinkel is a photographer for the Boston Herald. Dina Rudick is a photographer and videographer for the Boston Globe. And Stanley Foreman won the Pulitzer Prize three times while working for the Boston Herald American and has worked for WCVB in Boston for the past 30 years. It's great to see all three of you. Can we start? What? Every day, what's the most challenging thing for you, starting with you, Dina, to just do your job? What's the biggest hurdle? This is not an exciting answer. It doesn't have to be. Mundane is fine. Traffic. <laughs> is that really what it is? Yeah, it's horrible. You too? Traffic. What does that mean? The things that you that you <laughs> get if it's breaking news, yeah. it's it's gonna take you that much longer to weave through, think about what you have to do uh, at the scene for the photos, but you have to find out, find a way to get from here to there when the guy in the middle doesn't want you to get into his lane. It's horrible. How's that or, for your blood pressure? I mean, is it really, on, it's a, is it cause your health to suffer? They call it yoga off your mat for a reason. <laughs> so okay, fine. so right. what's the biggest challenge you well, face? Well, You've been doing this for a while. Yeah, but I honestly believe you get there, you get there, but you can't be first anymore. My biggest frustration is someone is already there with their iPhone or uh, some little camera. So I, I say you can't be first unless you're first. You have to on, on site it. And then of course when you get there, they put the tape up. And if you're really not quick, you're practically out in left field. You're shooting in Revere, and you, but you're in Chelsea. Do you resent the amateurs, the, the phone people? I mean, is there a piece of, yeah, yeah, you so, obviously do. I knew yeah, it. Yeah. She's shaking her head no mm -hmm. while you're telling I the truth and I saying yes. I actually don't resent them. I, I, I resent not being able to be first. And I can't be first anymore. Okay. Unless I'm first, I can't be first. I love that attitude. Can I talk about, I, I selected one of each of your photos. Don't be angry if it's not the one you want. I just picked one of your, I just want you to tell me briefly how it came about. Let's start with you. We've seen about 10 million pictures of Charlie Baker, oh, since, well, yeah. during the campaign. You took this thing, I love this image of Charlie Baker. It's up there now. Well, how'd that come about? Uh, it's, it's sort of like a, I guess I could call it like a cheap trick of political photography, but um, the thing with political photography is you have, uh, Usually a guy, usually a white guy standing at a podium white guys. talking. Wrong with white guys. Go ahead. <laughs> I have a little white guy, he's two years old. I, I like him. Um, but you know, they talk a lot and you know, how many pictures can you really take? So you start to look around and it's just the reflection in the in a TV camera's uh you, you know, almost sound like you're embarrassed what? by it. I loved it as a oh, consumer. Oh, I like I like taking pictures that are interesting to me, even well, if they never see the light of day. It was interesting to me. Now you were the exception. Every single picture I picked for the three, two of those, my staff agreed with me. With you, they did not agree. The one they wanted, we can put that up quickly, is the guy being rescued from the top of the tobing. We put that up there. That's what they wanted. Oh. You know what I picked because I've known you for a long time, Mark. <laughs> I am obsessed with what I will call your obsession. You won't <laughs> like that with Brady and Bunchen. So uh, I picked the latest Bunchen photo. Can we put that up there? That would be her. Is that not correct? Wait, that, that is not the latest photo. I, I, I just wanted to show you uh, how, you know, we as photographers also have uh, sources. Yeah. We get good, 22 years of the Boston Herald, I have, I've got very good sources. So someone called you and said Some, she's going to be doing Somebody tipped me that she was taking uh, pilot lessons, and, and there she was. She's seven months pregnant taking helicopter lessons. Now, when you get them on the promenade, though, are you, like, hiding in the bushes for weeks, or what do you do? How does I that happen? I am dressed as the bush. You are dressed <laughs> as the bush. Okay, Stanley, will not be a surprise what we pick for you. I think, was it your first Pulitzer or one of your Pulitzers? This I'd is like to say one of them. One of them. Yeah, okay. This is the photograph, probably, that people most... We're going to pop it up. It's actually a series of photographs. It's, you know, this is 40 years ago. I know that. Uh, this month, July 22nd. Burning building. 129 Marlboro Street. Collapsing fire escape. And, and then, then what happens? It collapses. I take some pictures. I turn around before she hits. And it's 40 years later and we're still talking about it. And I could not have get, gotten those pictures now. Why that, is that alley would have been yellow taped. I was on top of a piece of fire apparatus, took the pictures from where the ladder comes down, the bed of where the ladder comes down. I would have never gotten that close. So everything has changed. And, and say, well, and the woman died. Most people know this, and the baby, Diana and the kids Bryant, survived. The, the, God, the godmother passed away, died about 8 o'clock that night. And Tiara Jones, um, as a matter of fact, the Globe did a story of her in 2025 years later. And I don't know where she lives now, but she has a few children. And I'm ashamed, ashamed to say I never made contact with her. That was the advice I got back in 1975. But, but you probably are too humble to say this. Fire escape laws were changed virtually all over it the helped, country as helped, a result of it, this. It was it that not made, the case? It made people realize 
the dangers of fire escapes. Now, yes. I, I don't want to feel left out of this discussion, so I decided to pop up my favorite photograph that I've taken, I'd like you to look at. <laughs> this is one I took recently. It's a selfie. <laughs> now, tell me, well, Stanley is honest enough to admit that he can't stand the direction that some of these things are going with iPhones, whatever. Do selfies appall you as much as they appall mere mortals like me? Not that one you just no, showed. Well, that, that's amazing. lovely. I was I, fine. I, I, I like selfies. I just don't like people getting spot news before I get there. I, I guess. So selfies you can all no, live yeah. with? Selfies yeah. are okay. The they, selfies, they, they irritate They have me. to go. Why do they irritate you? We have one who says, why do they irritate you? That, that, sorry, don't take this. I don't take it personally. The narcissism of they are, it. I admit. Yeah, I think it, narcissism I, is I was us. in Beacon Hill on a shoot today, and, and some lady's walking down, like, selfieing herself as she's walking down the sidewalk. I just find that it's kind of gross. I just, like, do that in your own time. I don't know. What's, you know, Stanley is now, you've taken two opportunities <laughs> yeah. to talk about the, the way the business has gone. And I don't mean business in a pejorative way. I mean in a descriptive way. What's the piece of it that, beyond the traffic thing, that you find most troubling about sort of the trend in your industry, Dina Rudick? Hmm, the trend. Is there anything or is there? A, I think that, I think, in, I think it might piggyback on the, um, how everyone is a photographer. I think that the photography as a commodity is devalued and it's, it's very difficult for photographers to make a living on their intellectual property. How about that, Mark Orfinkel? Well, my situation is police and fire and EMS, mostly in Boston. And, and uh, it's wonderful when you, when you're able to get friendly first responders, but so many of them now have been told not to talk to the press. They take that, they extend it to even, they can't even say hi to you. And that's, that type of a situation uh, is troubling. They, sh you know, they should be a, more of a um, camaraderie. Well, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. A cooperative kind of thing. Cooperative. So uh, I would argue one of the greatest photographic opportunities, if you're there first, is potentially nine years away. That would be the Olympics. How do you feel about the oh. Olympics coming to Boston and Stanley Farm? I'm glad I'll be retired. Oh. Why, and why is that? Oh, that hassle, if it comes. It, it, I, I'm not, I, I'm not, I guess I'm not supposed to speak about it. Because you can say I whatever you want. I'm not interested. I wouldn't be interested if, if I was interested, if I was younger. It's just a big, big hassle. The Straight Talk about. Express right here. How about you? I'm excited about it. And why are you excited about it? Because how do we know what is possible with, if we just say no right now? How about you, Mark? As long as the traffic uh, situation <laughs> can be, well, we, we started this and we'll probably end it with the traffic, but as long as that can be controlled, it it's, sounds like it's probably... Traffic, not a problem. Another couple of hundred thousand people here, not yeah. an issue for a few weeks. Is there a photograph that any of you have not taken that you said, I, re that, I really want to do that before I'm done? Is there anything on your list, Stanley? I know there's something out there, but I don't know what it is. There's, a, there's another good picture for me, or a great picture. I and it's got to come before 2024 when the Olympics come, correct? Well, I'll, I'll be too old then. Yes, okay. Yeah. Is there a picture that you want to take or a scene that you want to have happen that you can take? Is there something oh that's in the back gosh. of your head? That's a tough question. Yeah. Well, you thank you. That's why yeah. I'm here, Dina. Narcissist you, yeah. that I am. I just, is, there, is there one for you? Is there a picture you say, I really want to get, a person I want to get, a scene I want to get, or you just take, play just, it as it just lays? Just trying to keep it positive. Um, with my situation, a hand touch with the police and a victim, something like that. I mean, I don't know how to answer that question. You know, whatever comes, comes. Are you angry that I put up a photograph of Giselle Bunchen's behind on your behalf, or no? I think you made almost great everyone behind. in the world. I love great sure. behind. Uh, you made a lot of people happy, probably. <laughs> Mark, it's good to see you. Happy 4th. Nice Thank you, you as well. Happy 4th. Thank you so Thanks. much, all three Thank of us. You. Great to see all three of you.